Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to share two brand new cards with you featuring lots of new, but especially the brand new color from Tim Holtz, the new Distress color called Saltwater Taffy. We're going to be using the Distress ink, the Distress Oxide ink, as well as the Distress paint for our cards today. And I'm also using lots of brand new Lawn Fawn products, new Lawn Fawn dyes. We're also going to incorporate some new Simon Says Stamp uh, from the Good Luck Charm release. Here is a little overview of all of the new products. Of course, standard in Tim's newest distress colors. Oh my goodness, it is just the perfect spring pink, y'all. I absolutely love this color, and I think you guys are too. It's a fantastic addition to the Distress Collection. Now, when I was contemplating what I wanted to use with this new color first, I had my new Lawn Fawn product out as well, and I thought, why not pair the two? So first up, we're going to take the Spring Blossom Background Stencil Set. This is a three-piece stencil set from Lawn Fawn, and it's basically a build a stencil background. You're building your own patterned background on uh, whatever you are stenciling. So I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of smooth white cardstock. We're starting with Saltwater Taffy Distress Ink, and we're gonna ink up the entire first layer with the Saltwater Taffy Ink. So you can see this completely undiluted color here perfect, beautiful. Look at that, you guys. I mean, how pretty is this color? Then we're going to take the next stencil and I am going to line this one up and I don't know what my issue was here uh, getting it lined up, but we want to line this up I can even, I even take my stencils and recheck them. Now, I want to mention this because I think it's brilliant. Lawn Fawn kind of does the stencil outline of the other stencils on these, so you can see where like the leaves are going to line up in the next stencil, which I think is brilliant. I'm going to take Candied Apple. That's going to be my layering color today, and I, that's going to be pretty consistent for the two cards. And I am going to go ahead and layer on candied apple over the brand new saltwater taffy. I really love this color combination together and I think um, it definitely gives me bright, happy springtime vibes. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely needing that little punch of happy and spring. Anywhere we can get a little happy these days, I will take it. And there is the colors layered together. I can't stress enough how much I love these two colors together. Finally, I'm gonna take two favorite green colors from the Distress Collection, Cracked Pistachio first, then Lucky Clover, and we're gonna use both of them for this final stencil. This is the stems, the greenery, the leaves, um, all of that extra little stuff. So first, I'm gonna ink up everything with Cracked Pistachio. And then we're gonna go in leaving this stencil in place and we are going to ink it up with a little Lucky Clover. So I just wanna make sure that I am getting every little piece here and see how you can really see it on the stencil now that you can see the flowers etched into this stencil so it really helps you line it up with the previous design when you go to stencil this. Imagine this in all of your favorite color combinations. You could simply sit and create all kinds of beautiful backgrounds and then do so many fun things with them. You can leave them as is. You can die cut them. You could die cut these into big letters. Like if you have some big ginormous letter dies or you have an a electric die cutting machine and can create your own, you could literally create like a fun banner with these. You could create titles for scrapbook page layouts or art journals. The possibilities are endless. Oh my goodness. When I peeled that stencil off, you guys, I just loved it. I love this floral. It looks to me like I'm a quilter and a sewer, and so I love fabric and I love floral fabric. And to me, that looks like a fabric. And I was like, I want this fabric right here. <laughs> Next, I am taking 
Another new stencil set from the Lawn Fawn Spring 2022 release. It's the Skinny Stripes stencil. Over to the right on the screen, there is an up and down stencil and then there's the diagonal stencil. First of all, I think it's brilliant you get both of them. Skinny Stripes stencils are a go-to for me, you guys, a go-to. One of my all-time favorites for all kinds of things. We're gonna create a plaid background today. I did switch to Distress Oxide with the Saltwater Taffy and because I find that I think skinny stripe stencils work much better, I did spray the back of this stencil with pixie spray before uh, placing it over my background, which again is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel and stenciling one direction. You will notice I concentrated the darker part of my inking in the corners. That was just for fun. I wanted to kind of keep the center a little lighter and you'll see why here in a little bit. I simply picked my stencil up flipped it the other way, and I'm gonna create a plaid. You can leave it a diagonal in any direction. You can do what I did here and make a tone on tone plaid. You could switch to another color and do a two tone plaid. Imagine the possibilities. You could combine the diagonal with the straight up and down. Oh my gosh, so many great things. Look at that background. I love it as is. But you guys, this is Distress Ink. Let's distress it up, shall we? So what I thought would be really super fun today is if we took this panel, took a little bit of the Saltwater Taffy Distress Paint, because remember, I am very much um, tone on tone kind of girl, and we are going to add a little drop of the paint. I have this plastic box I've been using for splatter, and honestly, it works amazing because I can just rinse it out. Um, so I am going to add a drop. I do like to add just a drop or two of water to my Distress Paint to thin it a tiny bit because I think it splatters better. So I will do that, and then I'm going to take a small paintbrush, and we're going to tap the paint all over this background. Um, I'm gonna try to concentrate it in the center a little bit, but I love that we have this really beautiful soft pink plaid, and then we're gonna have a fantastic little splatter all over. Once I have this all splattered with the beautiful saltwater taffy paint, and I'm trying to, I used a small paintbrush. I really wanted um, my droplets to be pretty small. Um, pretty light distressing, I guess I would say. I'm gonna set this aside to completely dry. It will dry really quickly, but it's gonna give me plenty of time to work on the rest of the elements for my cart. So for my plaid background, we are going to be using the brand new Lawn Fawn Spring Flowers Backdrop. I die cut the backdrop and the layering pieces from Smooth White Cardstock, and I'm gonna mask off the edge of this panel kind of from the Oh, flowers and leaves to that outer edge. It's gonna leave us with a nice white frame all the way around without having to add an extra layer to our card. And then I'm going to ink up the greenery and I'm not gonna really worry about the flowers. We're gonna ink up the, the greenery with cracked pistachio and um, lucky clover. And like I said, we don't have to worry about the flowers because I'm gonna layer flowers on top. I did try to kind of avoid them as much as I could, but if green got on them, I didn't worry about it. Once we have all of the green re-inked, we can remove our post-it tape. That's gonna, again, leave us with a nice crisp white border, which is definitely what I was looking for here. So pretty. And then um, I do wanna wipe up my stencil mat so I don't get any greenery on my actual flowers. And then I did notice that I hadn't popped out some of the little pieces. This is such a beautiful detail backdrop cover plate from Lawn Fawn. And so there are some little bits and pieces I'm using my Spellbinders tool in one to pop out. Already I can tell I'm going to love this over that plaid background. I'm gonna wipe up my stencil mat, clean it up with just a little water or a baby wipe, and then I did temporarily adhere the flower pieces to the cardstock. So initially I did not cut the flowers from my cover plate, I just die cut it all with one pass. Now I am gonna to have to trim it out because the thing is the center of the flowers, I ended up needing to die cut that piece three times 
I'm not gonna quite use all of the flowers, but you're gonna need like the tulip shaped flowers. You're gonna need uh, two sets of those. And then you're gonna need multiples of the other flowers to fill the frame if you want to do what I did here where I layered the flowers over. So using a little temporary post-it tape or washi or whatever you like to hold those in place, it makes it a little easier to ink. I'm not having to ink such teeny tiny pieces. So for me, this was kind of a great way to get around that. Then I inked up the flowers with a combination of saltwater taffy and candied apple. I'm gonna start with the saltwater taffy distress ink first and then move on to candied apple. And I tried to make the tulips a little more candy apple, I think, just a little bit darker. And you could use a smaller blending brush if you wanna be a little more detailed. I really didn't mind. Um, I just kinda of wanna get the two-tone on there so there's some light and dark. Then for the flower centers, we're gonna use a little fossilized amber. So I am gonna pull in another distress color. I really felt like the center of the flowers needed something of contrast, and I like that little touch of yellow here. In fact, I really, it adds just the perfect little finishing touch. So that's what we are going to add to the flower centers. I'm gonna just ink up my blending brush and add that color. And then we're ready to start putting it all together. So there are my two backgrounds. You kind of see where we're headed here. Let's do a little minor cleanup. And then I believe we're gonna do this at um, landscape for this card. The other card ends up being portrait. I really played around with it. And my determining factor for going with a landscape format was I'm going to use the giant happy spring die also from the 2022 Lawn Fawn Spring Release, and I felt like it fit a little bit better with the sentiment strip from Simon Says Stamp that I'm going to be using. Now, I really wanted to make sure first of all, that I liked how this looked, that I was happy with it before I go and die cut any of the remaining pieces and all of that good stuff. So you're seeing here just kind of the thought process. I love to lay it out. I like to make sure what I have planned in my head is gonna translate to paper. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The giant die cut greetings from Lawn Fawn are truly giant. So you definitely need to take that into account when planning. So I've die cut that also from Smooth White cardstock. We're gonna take Distress Oxide inks in the Saltwater Taffy and Candied Apple, uh, pardon me, candy, Candied Apple. And we are going to ink up Happy Spring with Saltwater Taffy first. And then along the bottom, we'll blend in some of the Candied Apple, and that is gonna give us a beautiful two-tone greeting. I will also die cut this greeting two more times from Smooth White cardstock so that I can stack one on top of another give a little dimension to our greeting, plus it's also going to allow us to slightly shift our greeting to give it a little shadow. I'm gonna take some 1 8 inch double-sided adhesive from Lawn Fawn and go around the edges of my panel. We're gonna smooth that down in place. I'm gonna use the Spellbinders Tool-in-One to lift up my tape a little bit. I'm going to completely remove it from two sides and then just bend it back on itself on the other two sides. It's going to give me somewhere to hold on to it as I layer it over my background. Just like so. And we're going to line that up with our plaid background that we stenciled. And then just simply pop that right in place. I absolutely am loving this combination. I could see doing this in so many different colors. So here's kind of an idea I wanted to show you that vertically I just didn't like it quite as well. So now we're gonna go through and add glue to the flowers and we're going to, and I saw that I missed another little piece. I thought I got them all with my tool in one, so I just used some tweezers to pop that out. We're gonna go through with liquid glue and layer on the flowers. And this is where the magic really comes in. Once these flowers are added on top, 
it just makes this frame so beautiful. This was one of my favorites from the release, and so it was really, really fun to break this out and kind of be able to play with it, play with new ink colors, and completely customize this card. Again, we probably have plaid pattern papers in our stash, but if you don't have the exact plaid or pattern that you wanna use for a background, stencils or background stamps are such a fantastic way to be able to build your own. And in this case, we were able to build a beautiful plaid background with Distress Ink, one Distress Ink color, one stencil, and a little splatter of paint. Uh, to give it a little bit more interest and give it, you know, a little more character, I guess. And I love that. I love being able to perfectly customize every single thing about this card from the background to the frame to the embellishments and even the greeting with inks. I think it's probably one of my very favorite things about card making is the customization and how you can truly make it your own. We all have like the same products, but you can truly make these things your own with just some simple ink choices and tools. It's really amazing. Um, I love the fossilized amber flower centers. I love them. I think they look so good. And again, you're gonna notice I'm three short, so I'm gonna to need to um, go ahead and die cut that and add those, which I'll do here in a minute. Let's go ahead and take our Happy Spring and stack the two white Happy Spring die cut panels, one on top of another exactly, like so. And then we're going to put an acrylic block on top to help hold that flat. And we're gonna put glue on the back of our inked Happy Spring and slightly offset that on the background. I like to just kind of shift it over to the right and up a tiny little bit and it gives you an instant little shadow, which I love. It helps distinguish your greeting from the background. We're going to put glue on the back and then we'll go ahead and pop that right onto our card panel. Now, I love the card just like this. I am going to shift it up just a tiny bit. If I was only using Happy Spring, I would have probably centered it a little bit better. But I want to use Here's to Lots of Sunny Days Ahead. This is from the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Strips Welcome Spring Collection. These are pre-printed sentiment strips on a sheet. I used the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Labels dies to die cut mine into a sentiment strip, but you can easily achieve the same thing by taking your paper trimmer and trimming this into a strip. And then I'm going to kind of pop it right underneath Happy Spring, but I'm gonna layer some of the leaves and flowers right under it. I didn't put adhesive under those for that very reason so that I could kind of uh, give a little bit more interest, I guess, to the card design by, layering some of those on top. You could even do that up at the top of the card, which I may try to do if there's no liquid adhesive underneath the top. Finally, I'm gonna take some pearls. These are some ivory pretty pink posh pearls. I'm gonna use the two smallest sizes here, and we're gonna glue those to the centers of our flowers with the yellow centers. I think this adds just a really beautiful, simple touch. Just like that. And I like these little triangle containers from Simon Says Stamp to hold on to the pearls. I'm using an embellishment wand to pick those up and put those in place. And I'm trying to dig through there and find the sizes that I want to use. But I think the pearls add a really pretty little look here to our spring card. Finally, I am gonna take a small heart accent in red and glue that to the dot in the letter I, and that will finish this card. I'm going to pop the entire panel on a side fold card base and we have a beautiful spring themed card 
ready to send, which I love. Um, you could also very easily switch this out. I do want to mention that there is a happy Easter, a giant happy Easter, get well soon. Um, you could really switch out this sentiment for anything with this background. For our Happy Mother's Day card, or what I turned into a Happy Mother's Day card, this could be anything. Again, we are going to take a new die from Simon Says Stamp. This is the rounded, domed, I believe that's what this is called, nested domed arches. I knew I was going to call it wrong. And I die cut it with the second largest of those to add a little interest to our stenciled background. Then on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of smooth white cardstock, we are going to ink it up with the brand new saltwater taffy distress oxide ink. I did an ombre effect and then I did decide to take candied apple distress oxide and blend it into the bottom. So we're just going to get a beautiful seamless background here. I liked it a little bit better than a plain white background. Originally I thought I'd just use the domed shape on its own didn't really like that. So we're going to create a background. And as much as I love this ink blended background, I ended up, <clears throat> excuse me, really uh, thinking I needed to distress this as well. So we're actually going to splatter this with saltwater taffy distress paint too. So let's grab our box here in a minute. Oh, first I am going to ink up Happy Mother's Day lots of new word dies from Lawn Fawn. I love this because really this kind of background, you could make this anything. Again, just like the first card, it can be get well soon. It can be happy birthday, happy anniversary, thinking of you, a friendship card, or you could mix and match happy Mother's Day on the other card, happy spring on this one. The sky is the limit. I also thought it would be cute to do like a happy Easter and add a bunny sitting on pardon me, part of the greeting. I thought that would be cute as well. So lots of ways to utilize these products very similarly. I inked up the greeting with the saltwater taffy and candied apple distress oxide inks. We're going to do the very same thing that we did for the first card where I die cut the greeting three times. The two white die cut greetings, I'm going to stack one on top of another. We're going to finish with the third slightly offset so it gives it that little illusion of shadow. We are going to be adhering the greetings right to that nested domed arch background. I have another sentiment strip. This one is from the Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Strips family. So you get mom and dad in this set. I think it also has daughter, sister, son, brother. So it's definitely a family oriented set. And I am, of course, using wishing you the best day ever. I thought that worked with Happy Mother's Day perfectly. I love that I already have a Mother's Day card ready to go. Um, when I was getting ready to place it on the background, that's kind of about the time that I felt like I really wanted to add some distressing. The domed arch is obviously going to be in the center of this panel. So I want the splatters to show, especially in that lighter part up at the top. So I tried my best to concentrate my splatter up there. Um, I want to set that aside to dry just a little bit before I adhere my domed arch background to my card. And then I do want to finish this by popping up the domed arch with foam adhesive. I thought I liked it popped up off the background just a little bit. And then I put some pearls in the center of some of the flowers there. It looks like I missed one. I need to add one more to that. I see it now. I always see things later when I'm after I photographed and videoed it, but just uh, finish it like that. And there are my two finished cards. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these two cards featuring the brand new Saltwater Taffy Tim Holtz Distress Color as well as brand new Lawn Fawn dies this, and stencils. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would love to become a member of Patreon, we would love to have you over there. There is a link in the description below. Here is another video featuring brand new Lawn Fawn Spring 2022 release products that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thanks for joining me today and we'll see you next time.